Riders ready, watch the gate. It's the first time I've been to Florida um, besides kind of flying through. <laughs> so yeah, it's pretty nice. I'm definitely enjoying the weather and the heat because it's winter in New Zealand at the moment. So it is a pretty good change. We've got the World Championships in Colombia next week and the temperature and the humidity is really similar to here um, and it's not that far. So it was kind of a good training base to come to. Um, yeah, it looks pretty big and I think there'll be a lot of courage needed to, to do a few of the jumps, but um, it's all part of the sport and looking forward to, to riding it and seeing what it's like. BMX is a, a bit cruel sometimes and uh, yeah at the moment I'm, I'm just coming back from a, an injury where I broke my arm in two places um, and I had surgery on my wrist and my upper arm so I mean it's all part of the sport and I guess in a way I've practiced this whole scenario before being injured on the Olympic year, going into the world champs just off an injury and then preparing for the Olympics. Well I have to qualify for the uh, Olympics next weekend's World Champs in Colombia so um, that's my priority at the moment is literally like one day at a time just uh, ticking off the boxes going through my process etc um, but I think when I won my medal in London I kind of realized in that moment that it's not just about the medal it's about the whole journey it's about the four years leading into it it's about every day in training it's about all those little things that add up to this one experience. Um, obviously a medal is like absolutely amazing, um, but to be honest, like silver felt like gold to me because of what went into my build up last time. Um, I had dislocated my shoulder three months out from the Olympics and, and managed to come back and, and still, still medal and I rode the best race I possibly could have and on that day my best was silver and so I was so proud of myself to be able to give absolutely 100% to that final and to cross the finish line. Knowing that was just, the overwhelming sense of pride was just better than any colour medal I could have gotten.